So in this video, I'd like to share with you some of my favorite lighter modifications uh, for various reasons. Now, all of the lighters that you're going to see here are the Bic style lighter. So keep in mind, there are a couple things that are going to be different on other brands of lighters. Uh, but in general, most of these things are going to work for any sort of lighter. So the first thing I do when I get a big lighter, and possibly the only thing I do depending on what it's going to do and where it's going to be, is I get rid of the little safety bar right here. This makes it just a little harder to uh, activate the wheel. And it's meant as a, a child defeater. Now, if you have a really strong child, it actually isn't that much of a defeat. Um, that said, if your hands are cold or gloved, or anything like that, this can make it really annoying and really frustrating to activate those lighters. So to take those off, I'm gonna go ahead and just get some small sort of prying device. I usually get right under there. Now keep in mind, these things will fling pretty far. So when I do this initially, I'm actually gonna put it under, get my thumb there to control it, and work on pulling it out that way, nice and controlled. Because uh, from experience, if you find these with your feet later on, it's not, a good time. Uh, thus far I have not found anything to do with these in particular, so if you have anything that you like to do with those pieces, um, please let me know in the comments because that would be really nice since this is a really common thing. So now I have a lighter that is much easier to activate. Now this one's actually empty, so you're not going to see any flame from it, uh, but you do see there still is a spark, so this that's still valuable, especially if we're talking uh, survival um, circumstances, but we'll get into that maybe another time. So that's the first thing to do. And then uh, what you see in front of me here are a couple variations on lighter. So I'm gonna start from like super survival type stuff to everyday urban uh, carry. The first I keep in this tin and a funny story about this tin is I found this on the street. I live in the middle of Seattle and as in any city, things tend to go from one place to another. People drop things, people, uh, you know, pilfer and, and, and move stuff. So um, on the outside is a little ranger band. Can't really go wrong. And the reason it's there is because uh, this is kind of packed full. You'll see there's a lot going on in here. And then uh, with this kit, when I found it, uh, I actually found it, the tin itself, I would have picked it up um, for, but uh, inside of it was the fire starter and this whistle, but not the multi-tool wire saw or the compass. So uh, it is a cute little tin. Um, so we go in here for super, super survival. Uh, you know, this is the kind of thing to put in your pack and on a, a day hike or something. So the first thing I did, this isn't lighter related, but I might as well show it, is I got a little button compass on here. And what I do with those is put some Velcro on the back. So it can stay in here or it can easily go to somewhere else. Um, I just like to not adhere things permanently a lot of times. And then you'll see what's really going on in here. Um, so there's actually a couple of other little pieces. There's a folding saw as well, and a folding razor. So it makes a cute little compact kit for a couple of things. So this lighter setup is uh, inspired by survival. And also if you go to uh, Ranger Survival and Fieldcraft on YouTube, I think his name is Andrew. Um, he actually has some really good ideas. So I actually changed uh, this specifically from his ideas and then added some things on my own. So he calls this the, the Ranger lighter setup. I'm just calling it my, you know, survival lighter setup. But starting from the lighter itself, uh, you'll see very simple things. Obviously the guard is off. There's a zip tie in the way of depressing the button so you can still get spark, uh, but you're not gonna be able to push out any gas so it doesn't get uh, accidentally discharged when it's in the pocket. And this slips off pretty easily. You can see it just moves, so I can just take that off when I need to. Even with a gloved hand, you can push this off. Um, I know that because I practiced. And then on the outside, I put gaff tape. Uh, gaff tape, duct tape, all of that type of tape is obviously really handy in any circumstance if you need to bind or mount or anything like this. It's also a fire extender, so it burns really, really well for uh, quite a while. So instead of using the flame, you still have to light it with a flame unless you rip this into to shreds make a little nest and then you can uh, oftentimes strike it with the the sparks alone uh, pulling off a thing a uh, piece is pretty easy to just start at lighting so maybe i'll just show that i am inside my uh, my apartment here so that might not be the greatest idea but just in case anyone hasn't seen it i might as well since you're here anyway 
Okay, just as quick as that, and that's gonna burn for quite a while, except for I'm not going to let it. Mmm, what a lovely smell. Oh yeah, so nice. Okay, so that's what's happening with the lighter itself. Uh, I've seen some other people who will store other stuff underneath the tape, like little fire tabs and this and that. I don't bother with that for, for any of these, but it's an option. On the other end, uh, this is where the, the Ranger lighter idea comes in, is, well, I have this here too. Um, I added these, because uh, these came in the original kit, so I took the little striker um, and its scraper, and I put some grip tape on there. I just love grip tape. So again, wet, sweaty, tired hands, what have you, makes it much easier to do that. I also like this idea, even though this is kind of small, it was better than not having one, and I might as well keep it with something else that's going to make fire. Uh, and I tested this on another lighter, and I'll show it maybe here, see if it works on this dead one, is this scraper actually will scrape off the plastic. So if you don't know, um, but if you're familiar with the standard like magnesium style um, survival uh, bars where they have the magnesium on one side and the ferrocium on the other. Um, you scrape the magnesium into a pile and it becomes tinder. So this is the same thing is you can actually scrape the plastic off of this stuff and then light that with the sparks later on, which I'm not going to do because I like my, my crafting mat here. So I'm going to keep it not burned up. Uh, so moving past the striker and uh, ferro rod, I have the whistle that came with it. Uh, it's fairly loud. What I like about this whistle and part of why it's on here actually is because it has a little container. So right now I just have a little glow stick in there. Um, but it could be packed with some other sort of, really anything small. You put more tinder in there. Uh, I was considering that, but without, you know, having tweezers or pliers or forceps readily available, that could be a real pain to get out. So having some extra light source is not a, not a terrible thing to keep in that space, especially if otherwise it would be empty. And then finally, uh, to the other end, which is pretty clearly a chapstick. Let me scooch stuff down here. So this is a chapstick. Now, when um, on Ranger Survival and Fieldcraft, he actually tapes the lighter body directly to the cord. Uh, I don't like that idea so much because I want to be able to, if this ever gets depleted, as far as the inside, um, the the chapstick itself, uh, I want to actually just be able to switch that out with new chapstick. So I have some cordage. This is actually covered in beeswax. It's also a fire extender. It burns very well. Um, it can be taken apart to make tinder more easily, um, and it's protected a bit from wetness uh, by just being impregnated with beeswax. So I go ahead and threw that on the end. So you have a much smaller amount of uh, more gaff tape. And then I have some electrical tape that is holding this down right now to keep it waterproof and to keep the cap attached. So I'm gonna find my little edge. I'll show you what makes this even more cool. So the um, chapstick itself can act as a, a help to start fires. It can be the fire extender if you just put it on some cotton, cotton ball, uh, Q-tip, this sort of thing. Let's just set that there for now. Okay. So that itself can be very handy to just rub on some, some fabric and help that way. And there's tons of this. This was brand new when I put this on here. And then in here, there's actually more uh, tinder. It's, it's cotton. And then in there, I have Vaseline. So uh, again, I'm not going to pull that out for this video because it's mostly about the, the lighter versions versus the survival fire starting. But uh, that light's super, super easy with just a, a quick glint of the flint, as it were. So that's really super cool. And those just all live together. And when when it's here, you know, if, I, if I'm, I don't hike very often, but when I do, I'll just throw that in the backpack. And then if I was ever, you know, thinking that I would need these things in a longer case scenario, I would take all of this whole bundle and just keep it in my pocket to keep it right on my person. But this is not what I carry every day because I live in a city <laughs> and uh, it's a little, little much being able to because I can walk home from pretty much anywhere in the city in you know an hour an hour and a half um so that is the ranger lighter if you want to see uh some cool stuff for survival actually go check out uh ranger survival and fieldcraft channel he's pretty pretty awesome okay moving down the line same idea uh different variation this is much more simple for a survival style. So this kind of backup lighter that can be hanging off the bag, in the bag, you know, hand it to someone else. If you're, if I'm traveling with somebody, say here, uh, again, you see the same thing, no protector. 
and zip tie to help. And then around this one, there's actually more ranger bands, just like the tape that's underneath it. It's a fire extender, uh, plus just more utility. So pretty straightforward. I also like about the bands is that it gives a pretty good grip feel. It feels very, very good. And then um, underneath that, this cordage, is just a little hank of uh, Dyneema that I had left after a project. I actually tape it down with the uh, electrical tape and not the gaff tape because even if I use all this tape and go down, I still want to have the retention device because uh, then I can load it later versus having everything come apart. So my first layer of connection with this cordage is the um, electrical tape and that's actually the same on the, the other lighter I just showed you. Okay, now we're getting into more, uh, less survival base and more just general utility. So this is one, I like white Bix a lot because you can see the fuel and where it's at from the inside. Uh, so this one has a couple things. This is one I actually took out of one of my med kits that stays in there. And like before, no guard, little zip tie barrier, uh, easily taken off. And then on the front, you see a nice, little Siloom uh, sticker. I love Siloom so much, it goes in the dark. So this is, you know, I dropped the lighter, I can't find it. It's gonna help me find it. Let's get the light off here to demonstrate. You can see my other one actually uh, flaring up there. Okay, so charging that up, even just a little bit, uh, this is gonna glow for pretty much most of the night, not so brightly, but what's also nice about this is you can use it in very low light scenarios to uh, read, so you can read the map. So the other thing with this one that's attached to it is some uh, hook Velcro because that's how I like to keep it in the kit that it lives in. Um, it also can just help retain it in a pocket or something. The last reason to have this one and part of why it's in the medical kit specifically is it can work as a good diffuser of light if the flashlight is too direct. So taking the, the flashlight in this, you can set it on here and now you have a more diffused light source. So I, I quite like it for, for that. And this, this flashlight's not so good, but if you have a, a flashlight with a bottom uh, t a flat tail cap, you can set it up like a candle and then let it let it rest on top of that flashlight and give a nice, a nice lantern effect light. So there's that. Almost there. So this one is, again, this is kind of a backup, backup survival one. Um, this stays in on, uh, my one of my backup backpacks, actually. And so this one has a couple things you've seen before. Obviously the tape, fire extender, a little guard. This guard's a little bit harder to get off because of the, the key ring that I put in here. So I did make it a bit looser than the other ones. Um, so this one I will shift to this side and then peel off from here and there's a little more gap space, but it's still tight enough that this is not going to discharge on accident. And then here you see, uh, these come with holes as they are. In fact, let's take one of these ones and, and show. Um, this is how they are. So it doesn't take much to make them wide enough. In fact, some tiny key rings can already fit through there. Uh, but this one, I, I did drill it out just a bit to make it a little easier um, to hang onto something. So just another way to, to retain that. Um, not my favorite. My favorite is actually last, so I'm saving that for last, but uh, because it is in, in the front of the lighter, like I like the idea of being able to have something attached down here and then using it and having it retained this way versus having to take it off of something or have the awkwardness of this. But um, this is much easier than, say, my last one because uh, you don't need anything other than just the key ring. Okay, so uh, that's that one. And then we get to uh, the last two. And these were actually some of the first types of mods I did on my everyday lighters, um, which are just good to have around. And in case you're wondering, well, why do you keep lighters? No, I, I don't smoke, but sometimes they can just be really handy. And especially for me, it's like things like doing crafting and paracord and, and burning the ends of things. So this one I did years and years ago as my first, uh, what I thought, at the time, well, I hadn't seen anyone else do it at the time, so I thought it was like an original idea. I'm actually not sure if anyone does this since, but uh, this little clip came from an Innova Microlite, 
and I stopped using the Anovas basically as soon as I had um, enough Photon Freedoms because Photon Freedoms are just the best micro light of all time, but they had these great clips. And so with this one, what I did was I unfolded a clip from that micro light. The bottom is, you can kind of see it under here. I rubber banded it to the body of this lighter and then I wrapped the uh, electrical tape around that. Now, why I do this is so that when it's in a pocket, even if it's in a pouch versus like pants pocket, what's nice is that it can sit at the top of the pocket and I won't have to dig for it anymore. So this one is actually lives in my little repair kit that I sometimes keep in my backpack or travel with or what have you. And so it can easily be right at the top of whatever that is. So this I did, in fact, I believe this is actually the second lighter. Uh, the first one, uh, I used it until it was empty and dead. And then I took all the things off and with new tape um, and a new rubber band, put the, the clip onto a new one. Now that was before I came up with the idea to not put the clip fully down. And so we end with my, my favorite and the one that actually lives uh, on my keychain and comes around with me all the time. And that is this. So uh, instead of the rubber band, I did just tape it directly. At first I liked the rubber band idea for like a little more grip, a little bigger, but just, uh, I, I kind of grew out of that. And um, when I'm gonna replace it, then I can just use tape specifically. So with this one, you can actually see the whole clip that was unfolded. So this part was, uh, it folded over and that's where the light was attached, but it has this little slot here. And so I went ahead and I put, a keychain through that slot and then a clip on here. So now when this hangs, especially because it's on my extending uh, keychain, I can use it from retention and then it can come back. So that's that's just that. And then of course the Sialume because I want to find my stuff uh, if I drop it. And it can be a you know a little reflective target. So you know even just waving it in the dark against a flashlight can can help someone see you better. But mostly it's just if I if I drop it. I want to be able to find it because it is this this black uh, lighter life. So that's really it. Those are my favorite mods, uh, at least for big lighters. Again, there's a couple things that can be done with other lighters and some things that I, I want to uh, share maybe another time with some cool lighter hacks and stuff. But for now, this is going to be what it is. Uh, if you have any other lighter hacks or lighter mods that you like or anyone that you want to suggest who shows good videos of that, uh, please go ahead and drop that in the comments. I'm always looking to see what people like to do with their everyday carry stuff and um, to make it more useful and more specific for what their needs are. Okay, bye!